guys and gals, Nero here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Homecoming, or not to revisited. So yeah, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as five dollars. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like, like permanent access to our community Discord server and future access to upcoming not safe for work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up. Let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> We just have a lot in common. He's been teaching me how to play the guitar, too. Uh, which one is sh Him? Probably him. I'm not ashamed of the, of the time we spend together. Shun, do you even know what you're saying? Of course I do. We're best friends, aren't we? Kuya is the best- is the bestest big brother. The chair tour is sitting in, falls over, and slams to the floor as he starts parading around the restaurant. Kuya chan Shin's palm gingerly rubs against his forehead. Can someone shut that moron up? Uh, Tora, you might be overdoing it. He ignores me, continuing his odd strut into the entryway. Kuyani! Elf! The sharp, merciless thrust of a large arm, Tora is drilled into the ground by an imposing figure. Hmm. It was very impolite of you, Tora. I know that deep voice anywhere. I look over and see my old friend Juichi standing over Torihiko's writhing body. Right behind him, Kyuji? Kyuji walks in and shakes his head. Was that really necessary, big guy? Hm. No, I guess not. I walk into the entryway again to greet the new arrivals. Juichi and Kyoji, how are you guys? It's been too long! Oh, Hiroyuki, I didn't expect you to be here so early. It's good to see you. I knew we were going to be late. We had judo and soccer practice today. I'm sure Hiroyuki understands, Juichi. Yeah, it's not your fault it came back so suddenly. I really appreciate you guys throwing me this party. You're welcome. Honestly, it was Torihiko who did most of the work. He rubs it under his chin before saying the next part. We're just following his lead. Pah! You can say that again. I'm heading back to my seat. With a flick of his tail, Tora, run Tora turns around and storms off. I chuckle under my breath. What a silly tiger! When I turn my attention back to the two in front of me, I realize something is missing. Hey, shouldn't there be three of you? Uh, Juichi, where's your brother? Bah! Kenji and a couple of his friends decided to take a road trip across Japan for the summer. Must be nice having nothing better to do with your time. Honestly, I can relate. Though, the way Juichi's acting, it might not be the best thing to admit. Oh, well that's too bad. It's not gonna be the same without him. Hmm. <sighs> he shrugs his shoulders before walking towards everyone else. Jeez, you'd almost think I hit a soft spot bringing Kenji up. Oh my god, another character, Jesus! Hey, sorry I'm late, senpai. My mom had to find a place to park. Kyoji claps his hands together and smiles. Ah, excellent timing! Hiroyuki, there's someone I'd like to introduce you to. Eh? Please meet my junior in the soccer club. Sotaro! Huh? He seems caught off guard by Kyoji's sudden introduction. Before I realize what's happening, the young lion gives me a long bow. Hello! Uh, I'm Sotaro Tuno, a third-year student at Kazadari High. How'd you do? Wow, I didn't expect that kind of accent. I wonder where he's from. Respond. I respond in kind and politely bow. Oh, okay, so... What kind of accent should he have? I'm not going to remember all these characters' names right off the bat. There's a lot of these guys. There's a lot of these guys here. I'm Hiroyuki Nishimura. Nice to meet you, Sotaro. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm give a southern. I'm gonna give a fucking southern accent, like he's from the U.S. or something. I've heard a lot about you from Mr. Takahara. Pleased to meet you. Ha! I tell Kyoji expected to be called by his last name so soon. I'm glad to see he's still taking soccer so seriously. He's even got a. He's even got a junior now. I told Taro an, an, an old friend of mine was coming to visit, and he asked if he could tag along. He was very curious to see what the illustrious Hiroyuki Nishimura is like. Yeah! My cheeks flare up. It's not very often that Kyoji teases someone, but... Hmm. Mm-hmm. I suppose this is a special occasion. The two of them walk towards the back with everyone else, leaving me here in embarrassment. Hey! Wait up! Oh, Jesus! Another character! I lose my mind. I lose my mind. 
There you go. Water time. Here I am, like, oh my god, there's already so many characters then. Fuck, another one. Is this it? Is this all the, all the characters, please? Wait. Yo, Hiroyuki! Ah! A loud voice booms as its owner walks through the front door. T Tatsuki? <laughs> Look at you, you haven't grown one bit. Oh, I'm, I know what voice I'm gonna do for him. You've been eating proper, right? <laughs> This trademark smile it quickly approaches me, footsteps echoing throughout the restaurant. Hey, what's the big deal? What's the big idea? Natsuki proceeds to hug me and lift me into the air. Sorry, I'm just so happy to see you again. He gently places me back on the floor, then backs away. I'm jealous. How'd you manage to say the same size? Uh, I find myself staring up at the giant dragon man in front of me. Tatsuki was never a small guy, but this is kind of ridiculous. Maybe it's just you getting bigger. Ha! <laughs> You're probably right. I'm over two meters tall now. Though, are you sure you're not actually shrinking? I laugh at the big lug's insistence. Heh, <laughs> I assure you I'm growing up, Tatsuki. Good, good. I don't want you shriveling up or looking like Shen, you hear? And I make a motion with my arm, crossing it over my chest before bowing. You have my word, sir. Heh. <laughs> Tatsuki! You la- Who's him, you lazy bastard? You're slow! I was getting tired of waiting for you. My bad. I tried to get here as soon as possible, but I couldn't get away from work. You have a job now, Tatsuki? Yeah, after graduating high school, I became my father's apprentice. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Tatsuki always wanted to follow in his father's footsteps and become a carpenter. Congratulations, man. It must be fun getting to work alongside your dad. I wouldn't say that. Did you really just say that, Hiroyuki? Mr. Midiora is an absolute beast, don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Images of Tatsuki's chronically angry father passed through my mind. So sorry, Tatsuki. Hey, that's my dad you're talking about. Working with him is not that bad, it's just... Okay, it's pretty bad. But at least I'm making good money now. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, I almost forgot. Tatsuki, thank you for paying for my meal tonight. You're welcome. Make sure you eat a lot tonight. Don't be picky. Yes, sir. That's the intensity I remember. Good old Tatsuki. Maybe if you eat enough, all you'll put on some weight. Stop looking at me like that. Seriously, I work out at the gym. I hold my arms up in the strongest pose I can muster. Yeah, check out these muscles. Huh, <laughs> nice try, Hiroyuki. You're not fooling anyone with those noodles. I want you to eat enough meat for the both of us. I'm going to stick to veggies and fish tonight. Oh, so you're saying you're not eating the entire buffet this time? I'm not fat, damn it! I mean, he looks, he looks pretty good. He's got that, like, dad bod or something. Yeah, he's got that, like, muscular dad bod. When dragons get older, their bellies start to show more. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before coming from you. Doesn't help that you guzzle down sake like there's no tomorrow. What? 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 Seriously, Hiroyuki, Tatsuki's become such an alcoholic. Torihiko shakes his head while looking in my direction. I only drink on special occasions. You can't get fat from sake. Uh-huh. You keep telling yourself that, big guy. Hiroyuki, come feel his belly, poke poke. Torihiko grabs my wrist and guides it to Tatsuki's stomach. Hey, wait a sec. Stop poking me. I break free from Tora's grasp and distance myself from the giant dragon. Sorry. Anyway, it's almost dinner. Has everyone made it? Torihiko lets out a long groan. It says everything that needs to be said. Konosuka's not here yet, is he? There you go. It is water time. Hmm. I got working a little bit after this. It might be a short day. I might ask to extend, extend so I can get some hours because we we're moving on the twenty. We're moving on the twenty uh twenty second, y'all. Yeah, we're moving on the twenty second, y'all. Yeah. Uh, we'll be moving into our new place on the 23rd. So, yeah, very exciting. Very exciting. Anyway. Nope. Of course he'd be late today. I hope you weren't expecting him to show up early, Tora. We told him exactly when to be here, and he still... We told him exactly when to be here, and he still can't show up on time. I was hoping he'd be... I was hoping he'd be here for this. Mr. Takahara says all that Mr. Curry talks about is the big city. 
Oh, Satoru, okay. Uh, Southern, Southern, Southern. Okay, one second, y'all. I'm doing all these different voices. All right. You think he'd be here to greet his friend coming to visit from there? I mean, I mean, it's not really out of character for him to do this. Hmm. He's only half an hour late. It's not that bad yet. Last month when we had Shun, Shun's birthday party, Konosuke showed up right when we, as we were going home for the night. There's no way he could have forgotten about this. I hope. Ha! Ah! We all turn in unison towards the front door and we hear a cry coming from down the street. Uh, I'm here! I, I made it! Huh! Huh! Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick! Konosuke comes running in, running in right on cue. Konosuke! With a smile, I run up and hug my childhood friend. Hero! It's so good to see you again! Heh <laughs> After I let him go, he rubs behind his head. I see everyone got here all early again. <laughs> We're not early, Konosuke. You're just super late. Like always. Looking behind me, I see everyone, everyone glare in Konosuke's direction. With a click of his tongue, Konosuke's entire demeanor changes. It's no big deal, right, here. It's no big deal, right, Hero? Everyone else is here, so I'd say it's as good a time as any to show up. Heh. <laughs> Heh. I laugh under my breath at the way he's trying to save himself. Nah, you're late, dude. Ah! A collective groan echoes through the restaurant. <laughs> well, at least you're here now, right? Yeah. Great, now the party can finally get started. Pops, you better get those grills revved up. I'm starving. Ha ha ha! The jolly green giant stomps off towards the rest of the group. I look back and see Konosuke still feeling embarrassed about the situation. Hey, it's no big deal. Like Tetsuki said, you're here now. I hold up my thumb, I hold up my thumb and give him a wink like he always does. Let's enjoy the party. He seems to perk up a bit with my encouragement. Huh, okay. Konosuke and I follow behind Tatsuki and, I t and take another seat near the rest of the group. It looks like everyone else is deep in conversation. I take the opportunity to catch up with one of my old best friends. So, how's life in Minnesota been treating you these past five years? Oh, you know. Just working with my dad at the repair shop. Same old, same old. Thing you know, Water time. That's right, Konosuke's dad is the local repairman. Whenever anything breaks from televisions to lawnmowers, Mr. Curry is the guy to see. Ooh, that sounds fun. I, I guess. I hear the awkward shuffling of feet beneath the table. So, nothing that big happening? My brother's just about to enter middle school. With a big smile, he seems to dodge the question, almost as if he pre prefers to talk about anything but himself at the moment. Ah, that's great! I, I haven't seen Yukiharu since I left. I'm sure he's quite big now, isn't he? Mm-hmm. How about you? I'm dying to know what it, what life is like in Osaka. I've got so many questions I want to ask. Ah! I should have been a bit of, should have been better prepared for this. If there's one thing I know about Konosuke is that when he's interested in a topic, he'll interrogate you until he's satisfied. What's it like living in Osaka? I've heard it's amazing. Anything cool going on there? Anything weird? I want to hear everything. Uh, can I come visit sometime? Uh, of course. Uh, I'll expect the grand tour. Da, I'm so excited you're back, hero. <laughs> Give me some time to process this, man. <laughs> hmm. Kyoji leans over the side of his chair to chime in on our conversation. I know you're excited, Konosuke, but you should give Hiroyuki some time to relax. You'll have plenty of you'll have plenty of time to ask questions. He's here the whole summer, after all. You know, I could never tell with Kyoji's eyes. Oh. But I'm pretty sure he winked at us. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you once I stop feeling so shell-shocked. I rub behind my head and laugh gently. Thanks, Hiro. When you get the chance, I'd like to hear more about Asaka. You got it, Konosuke. Heh, he's still living life at his own pace, just like when we were kids. His eyes seem to trail off. I think he's daydreaming like he usually does. I'd love to live in the big city someday. I love talking to my friend, but sometimes he can be a bit overwhelming. I laugh in my head, and I think about charging him one of those Minnesota souvenirs for stories from Asaka. Behind us, Kyoji stands up from his seat and claps his hands together. Excellent! Now that everyone is here and we've mingled for a bit, I think it's time to start ordering food. Finally! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Got a 
We got a lot of new characters in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out the Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.